Man's Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Ninja Foodie Max Health Grill and Air Fryer. For my friends in the USA, it's known as the Smart XL Grill. It has a smart cook feature where you use the digital probe. They let you know when the meat is ready. Ninja say no more guesswork. We'll see how we get on with that. It has six customizable features. Grill, air fry, roast, bake, dehydrate and reheat. At the time of recording, I picked this up for £250. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. I've also reviewed the Ninja Air Fryer. I'll link it down below and a pop-up card if you're interested in watching that review. First thing, some paperwork. It came in this envelope. Quick start guide. Warning. Ninja Food D-Max Health Grill and Air Fryer. Model AG551UK instruction booklet. Ninja Food D-Max Grill recipe booklet. Let's have a quick flip through this. A cleaning brush, double sided, got some Ninja branding on there. 740 centimeters non-stick ceramic coating plate. You'll need this when you do your grill food. It's got two handles there. So that's what it looks like from the bottom. 3.8 litre ceramic coated non-stick crisper basket for your air frying. It's got handles on both sides, as you can see there. 5.7 litres non-stick ceramic coating cooking pot. This and the splatter guard always have to stay in the grill. These four items, grill, air fry basket, the pot and the splatter guard are dishwasher safe. The digital probe lives on the side here. And when you want to use it, you need to get this part out. That would go in there. And then of course the other end into the thickest part of the meat in the center. And you just leave it in and it'll let you know when the meat's cooked. Of course we will try that. That's what it looks like from the back. It's got a fixed cord there, some Ninja branding. Some air outlets at the back here. At the top there as well. Make sure you don't block them when you're using the grill. Some information stickers on this side and then one on this side at the top. Front of the grill. Some Ninja branding. This is all digital. When I turn it on, you'll be able to see it. Just lift it up. The splatter guard is removable. You just push this and it will come out and then you insert it back in once you've washed it. Ninja recommend after every use, wash it. Make sure that does stain. It will stop grease from getting to the elements. Okay, before I wash everything and start cooking, I just thought I'd show you how the big pot fits in. You can see it's got a cut out there. That would match with the cut out there. Only going one way, that goes in. And say I'm using the crisper basket. That would fit in and just close it. The grill plate would go in these two facing forwards. Like so, pop it down. Okay, I thought before I start cooking, we'll have a look at some of the options. I've plugged it in, i just turned that on. You can see the options there. Air fry, roast, grill, bake, reheat and dehydrate. I will be grilling some chicken. It's got the arrows up and down, the timer there. And it's got start, stop there. But at the moment, nothing has come up on this side because I need to insert the probe. As you can see, once I've put the probe in, preset, manual, and the probe symbols come up. Press grill, if I go to preset, I get options now, chicken. The chicken only comes up as well and will preheat it for 10 minutes if I'm using the preset, which I will be using the preset. But if I want to change the meat, I just press these arrows, fish, lamb, different ones there. And say, I want to change the settings, so you go to level two, medium, as you can see there. We're doing chicken, so if I just carry on pressing. Chicken well, press start. And you can see the preheat has come up at the bottom. And if you don't want to preheat it, I just press the preheat button and the preheat will go off and it'll say add food. It's just finished preheating and it's saying add food, which I will be doing now. 
One thing I like about this grill, as soon as you lift the lid up, it stops. Once you put the lid back down, it will start again. You're not having to push any buttons. Let's put the first piece on. Just got some breast chicken here. Yeah, that sizzle, that deserves a like. I'll be able to get one more in. Close it. I'll get it started itself. It just bleeped and it said flip. Again, you don't have to flip it, but Ninja recommend you do. As I mentioned before, it stopped now. I'm gonna put it down and start again. Do look nice. Just bleeped again, get food. I have an option now. I could take the probe out and let it rest like this for five to 10 minutes. If I leave the probe in, it will let me know after five to 10 minutes to remove the probe. But I'm going to leave the probe in, let it rest. That will let me know once it's time to remove the probe and then cut the chicken. Enjoy it. It just bleeped and it said end. But if I want to know the temperature of the chicken, I press and hold the manual button for a few seconds. It's letting me know current temperature, 70 there. And I could remove the probe, put in the other meat. Actually, let's do that and then we'll find out what the temperature is of the other. Be careful, it's hot. Put in this one. Press on for two seconds. 73. Yeah. Perfect. Let's cut the chicken. That's cooked nicely. Yeah. Next, I thought we'll try some curly fries. So it'll be air fry. I'm going to do the temperature to 170. I'm going by my older air fryer. This is the settings I use. I'm going to do 14 minutes, but of course I will check on them as well. Just press start. I think they should be about done. Yes, they are. Perfect. Just plate them up.
and there we have some perfectly made curly fries that have been air fried. I didn't put any oil in them and it's recommended not to use any olive oil in this machine because of course that lets out more smoke. Use avocado oil or vegetable oil but in these I didn't put any oil in. This product is great for us lot. We really really like it. It makes cooking different foods so easy and enjoyable. The only thing I don't like about it is you only get a one year guarantee. I mean for the price 250 pounds I would have liked to see at least two years. If you found the video useful give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.